Let's take a look at setting mailbox quotas in Exchange using PowerShell. So the first thing is you'll either need to be in the Exchange Management Shell or have an Exchange PowerShell session open. In my case, I have an Exchange PowerShell session open. So the first place we can set mailbox quotas is on the database. So I've got the database name here, and using the get mailbox database commandlet, we can look at the quotas that are currently set on that mailbox database. And you can see here that they're all currently unlimited. So to set them, we use the set mailbox database commandlet and the different quota parameters. So in this case, there are issue warning quota, prohibit send quota, and prohibit send receive quota. So I can splat those to the database quota variable and use the set mailbox database commandlet to perform that action. And then using the get mailbox database commandlet, we can again look at those quotas and to see what that what we set actually took. The second place we can set mailbox quotas is on the mailbox itself. So I've got the mailbox name here. And then we use the get mailbox commandlet to look at the current quotas. And you can see that I also am displaying the use database quota defaults property. And that's because if that property is set to true, then that mailbox is using the settings on the database, not the settings on the mailbox. So what we see here is not the quotas that are applied to this mailbox. So what we need to do is look at the quotas that are on that database to know what quotas are applied to this mailbox. So I've got this command here to do that. And it looks like this mailbox is in that database we just set. So it's got those settings from before. So we use the set mailbox commandlet to change those settings. We want to be sure to use the use database quota defaults equals false. And so I've got that parameter here in this flat. And you use the same syntax for the different quotas as well. So I'm going to go ahead and splat that into the mailbox quota variable and use the set mailbox commandlet to apply those settings. And so now when we retrieve the mailbox quotas again using the same command from before, we can see that it now has those new settings and the use database quota defaults property is false. That is how you set mailbox quotas in Exchange using PowerShell.